speaking and here we go I've got a new project I'm gonna make myself a display board um, it's not gonna be like massive massively artistic or anything it should be a basic board really maybe um, a bit of terrain on there or something in the middle and um, I'm gonna try and make it interchangeable so I can have a different board for uh, different armies so uh, what I did is I basically took out the the backing board like so and uh, so far what I've done is just sanded, uh, sanded the, the joins down where it was like stuck in a bit and um, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to just green stuff some of the the gaps here so you little gaps and things just just tidy it up a bit basically before I put the board in um, what I need to do though is I need to get my army on there and make sure it's, uh, it all fits and maybe work out um, where I'm going to put the piece of terrain that's going to go on there etc so I'm just about to do that I'm going to start off making the board for my Aldar and then I might move on to my other armies as well so this project's going to take a little while um, but I'm going to do little video clips as I go along hopefully you'll have one one video with everything on well I'm just trying to set my army up um, but two squads of jet bikes, six in each. Those stands at the back there are um, that's the the seer council, basically five warlocks and one uh, farseer. I've got two two squads of vipers. I haven't kitted them all out, uh, but two two fire prisms and a Vulcan as well. Um, I haven't put the turrets on or anything, but it's actually surprisingly difficult. I, mean, I had visions. My original vision was two squads of jet bikes here, the Seer Council in the middle, two Vipers in them but so on the sides behind the jet bikes, then the three tanks at the back. And originally I was gonna have like the gateway thing coming up here and maybe have the Dire Avengers standing on it. But well I just didn't look right. So then I tried having the whole war host just sort of zooming down the board. Um, with the Dire Avengers up the front, which actually didn't look too bad. But it's very difficult to get the piece of terrain in, so I'm sort of thinking now. Uh, Seer Council sort of in the middle with the two squads of jet bikes either side, and now I've put the Vipers in between the tanks, and then the Dire Avengers. I thought I could have uh, the like Wraith Gate thing, uh, just sort of coming up here, arcing over, and then actually have the Dire Avengers standing on the top just to raise them up. So that's what I'm thinking. Uh, I don't know, first of all I'm going to get the, the, the sand on it and um, all that sort of stuff and maybe have another look at exactly how I want to display this. Right, well, just gone out and I've got myself some sand, a uh, big massive bag of sharp sand. What I've done is I've uh, just put it in this box here, well, I've got a little tub over there as well, um, but basically I need to dry it out because it's a bit wet. So um, I'm going to just leave it in here, it's quite sunny. To be fair, I've not done this before, um, but I assume it's going to dry out and be usable. So I give that a few days, I suppose, in the sun. Uh, this little tub here, this is just, I'm going to keep this aside to, to put on my bases. Um, that's it, so we'll hopefully that will dry up and I shall be able to glue it onto the board. I managed to uh, dry out quite a bit of this sand, really. What I've been doing is transferring it onto this little tray, uh, leaving it on here, like thinly spread. About 15 minutes in the sun, dries out quite nicely, and I've just been putting it in this box. So I've got all this sand now, which is all dry. So the next stage is to uh, stick it onto the board. Now what I've also done uh, is, as you know, this, this one comes out like so. And I've got myself uh, just another sort of random piece of thick cardboard. Well, it's actually, I don't know if it is cardboard, it's like some sort of thick stuff and I've cut it to the right size so that also goes in so the next job now I'm going to sand the top of this and sand the top of that and uh, see what it looks like right there you go I've just uh, basically PVA glued the boards and covered them in sand and I uh, just let that dry for a few hours and then I shall uh, tip the sand off hopefully we'll have some sanded boards Right, so here we go. I'm now going to uh, take the sand off. So, lift it up. Stuck to the thing. Here we go. 
try and get most of it in the box. Yeah, next one. Do the other one. Just uh, sprayed them. Uh, sprayed that one brown. That's going to be my Aldar board. And over here, sprayed that one black. It's going to be my Necron board. And uh, once that's dry, I'm going to turn the boards over and I'm going to sand the other side. So the other side of this one's also going to be black, uh, but with snow on. That's going to be for my Wolven. And over here, uh, the other side, I'm going to do for my Tyranids. Okay, I'm going to let this dry. Right, we've done. Uh, well, I've done a lot today. Just sprayed the frame, so that's uh, ready to go. And on this side, I put sand and sprayed that side, and uh, the same on the other side. So, like I said before, one side Necrons, the other side's going to be Space Wolves. And then over on this board, I've sprayed that one, that's my Tyranid side. And then on the other side, I've got my Aldar. There you go. So uh, what I've got to do now is basically I'm going to highlight these, to dry brush them. Uh, this is going to have grass on. Uh, the Tyranid's going to be uh, washed, like I do my Tyranid bases. And on the Necron board, that will just be a dry brush. Uh, Codex Grey, uh, same with the Space Wolves, except I'm going to do snow and stuff on there. Uh, I haven't really painted much of my Space Wolves already, um, only the actual wolves, and I haven't put snow on their bases yet, uh, but that is something I'm going to do. So I shall, uh, I'll come back once I've done the dry brushing and stuff. Okay, but well I've just finished uh, finished the boards. So I've got my Aldar one here. It's uh, now been highlighted and then varnished and then some grass stuck on. And then up here I've got my Space Wolves uh, dry brushed and then obviously the snow stuck on. And on the other side, uh, this one here, the Necrons, basically just dry brushed. And on this side, the Aldar board, is my Tyranids, so it's been washed. Same as I washed my uh, Tyranid bases. So now on to the accompanying piece of terrain. Um, in this video though I'm just going to work on the Aldar piece. Uh, the, the main reason for doing this board is for the Aldar and the others as I said just interchangeable for future. So I'll do the future pieces of terrain for each board as I go along but in this video I shall continue with uh, an Aldar piece. Okay well I've just got back from uh, my local model shop and I found this battlefield in a box, uh, Rocky Hill basically, and it comes in two parts, which I think is going to be absolutely ideal for my board. Um, the Wraith Gate idea thing, I don't know, I just found, I just didn't get any inspiration for it really, and uh, having seen this, I think having that at the back of the board, with the Dire Avengers standing on, is going to be ideal, and then this section, what I'm going to do, oop, I'm going to uh, paint this up into my Necron terrain. Uh, it could be nice to have uh, like an edge piece of terrain. I haven't got an edge piece for my Necron board. So I'm going to paint that up in my Necron style. It's a bit big for the display board, but this is going to be ideal for my Aldar. So this is going to go, I'm going to paint this up into my Aldar uh, style. And I'll show you uh, when it's done. Right, there you go. That's, uh, that's that piece of terrain all made into the Aldar uh, board colours. Hopefully, it should look quite good on their board. And uh, I'm just going to get a few of the other armies out now, the Necrons and stuff, and just, just see what they look like. And then I'm going to set up the Aldar, um, all the army of the Aldar. Right, that's the Tyranid board all done. And well, I'm not going to set the whole army up, but then you get the general idea there. Seems to match in quite well. Uh, next, I'm going to put on the Necrons. There you go, there's a few Necrons on the Necron board. It matches in quite nicely, I think. There you go, that's the Space Wolves one done. And, well, I'm, I've only got these wolves that are actually painted at the moment, and I think uh, definitely going to be a lot better when I've got snow on their bases as well. So I shall do that at some point. Now I'm going to set up the Aldar uh, and uh, see what they look like. And there you go, um, all finished. I've uh, got that piece of terrain there 
grassed it up and I've dry brushed it and that. Dire Avengers, still got to paint those. And uh, this time I put all the turrets on everything, all the shuriken cannons. Uh, this space in the middle, this is for the Seer Council, which I'm currently painting. And uh, I shall, well, better get back to painting the Seer Council, really. But thanks for watching.